Good day, mortals. My name is Mika, and today I'm going to be showing you exactly how I made this really awesome medieval fantasy recording space. This is my new setup, and I think this is good enough to call it finished. Um, of course, I'll probably end up upgrading it over time, but for now, I think it's good enough to record in. So what you see right now is what you're probably going to see for most of my videos, but of course, sometimes I will be changing it up a bit. All right, so let me just go ahead and show you what this whole space basically looks like. All right, here is the recording space. Let me go ahead and just move this little tripod out of the way. Here it is, my little medieval home. I wanted it to have kind of a medieval feel, but also a fairy feel. And then over here, I have this big fat light. And then I have all of my garb. And then most of my props. So I will go into detail of basically what everything is, but first I want to show you exactly how I made this room. All right, so excuse the mess, um, but basically I started out with these disgusting white painted concrete walls and the white floors. And I know it has this like awkward storing shelf here, but when you angle it just right, you can't even tell that there's a shelf. And I was actually originally wanting it to be more of a fairy theme with like wood cabin like walls and vines just everywhere and lights everywhere, kind of like these vines up here. But after looking at this white space, I figured it can, might be one of those like white plaster walls that they have in medieval times. So I decided to go with that. And the first thing I did was put on the wallpaper. Um, I had my husband help me do it. And honestly, it was not the easiest task to do. It was a little bit challenging to figure it out at first. But by the time we got to our second wall, um, it was pretty straightforward. And I kind of wish that I got a more realistic 3D looking stone, especially a stone not so like gray, but I'd already bought it and oh well, it's too late now. <laughs> I guess it's not really a bad thing for my room to have kind of a cartoony look because it kind of already does anyway, I guess. And then after that, I put tape on the walls to measure where I wanted all of my like wooden planks. And then I just got some leftover paint, some uh, brown paint, and I just did a basic coat over the lines where I wanted the wood to be. But since these walls are so rough and uneven, uh, when I peeled the tape off, I noticed that the a lot of the paint had bled underneath the tape. So I just had to kind of get a small paintbrush and clean up the edges. And then after that, I went in with a really dark brown and just did some random streaks to make it look not so, you know, one color. I tried to give it somewhat of a wood texture to it and at first i actually forgot to put these like wood bottom pillars down and then when i realized that it looked weird without it i just kind of got lazy i didn't really want to paint it but then i found this roll of cardboard strips that were the perfect width so i just thought oh my god that would be so easy if i just laid that down Kind of wish I knew about that in the first place. So basically what I did was I cut them into long strips and I spray painted them and then I just used spray on adhesive to glue it to the walls. All right, and then for the vines, I just hung up these extra vines that I got from the thrift store and I stapled them with a stapler gun, just kind of randomly all around the room. Kind of wish I had more vines, but I don't, and I don't feel like buying more, so that's what I have to work with for now. And then I put these green LED lights in the vines just to make it look more fairy tale esque And I put that little moth on there just to give it some life. And this beautiful hanging lantern that I got at the thrift store, I don't have a light for it yet. I want to get one of those battery-powered LED lights that flicker like a... Uh, 
you know, like a flame. And then for the roof, this section of the roof had pipes like these, and it looked really, really hideous. So I just grabbed the rest of the bed sheet that I used for my Skyrim Mage's robes, and I just stapled it all across this area just to hide the pipes. And I didn't feel like buying a sheet that looked more like wood, so like I said, I just used what I had at home, and it doesn't look great, but it looks better than it did. And since there was a hole back here that I couldn't really cover with this cloth, um, I just put some vines in that little corner so you wouldn't just see a black abyss, a void. <laughs> and then I hung up these little pots that I got from the thrift store, just to add some character. Oh, and then this window. Uh, I really hate this window. It's very, very modern looking. And like I said, I wanted to use as many resources from home as possible. So I just had the scarf that I got from the store. It looks very uh, in period, I think. And so I just hung it on a wire up there and then I covered the wire, which was already there. I don't even know what these wires are for, to be honest but I covered the wires with more vines. But when I'm recording videos, I'll do my best to avoid this window entirely, but I figured I'd cover up just in case it gets seen in my videos. And for the floors, I found these foam wood texture mats on Amazon. And they're not the greatest thing in the world, but it's a uh, cheaper alternative to real wood. And the more I walk on it, um, the more those little puzzle piece marks will go away. As you can see, you can't really see them in this space where I walk the most, but the space closest to the props, which I just installed these floors like the day before yesterday, I think. And so, yeah, they haven't been nailed together yet. And just to add more flooring so that you don't see any white floor in my videos, um, I had these, these are like table mats to eat on. And then this is another table mat. And these were mats that I already had that I got from the thrift store. So yeah, I just threw them down. And everything that you see in this room either came from the Renaissance Festival, Etsy, or the thrift store with a couple exceptions but for the most part everything came from those three places all right moving on to the props and the furniture so here is my beautiful wooden throne i call it this one my grandmother actually gave to me i don't know where she got it but she got it online somewhere and it's a beautiful decorative piece and i just thought it would be the perfect chair to sit on Although it is a little short, I wish it was taller, but whatever. And then over here, um, I have my Bosmer's Skyrim hunting bow right there. And I actually found the string that goes to it. And this little table is actually a sewing machine table. And it cost five bucks from the Salvation Army thrift store. So that was a great deal. Same with the fur came from the thrift store. And yeah, we just got some props right here. Here is Mika's signature hat, a Ravenswood leather little pouch, a sword that actually came from Amazon. It came with uh, dual wielding daggers or short swords, I don't remember what they called it. Some coins from Ravenswood leather, uh, a tankard from Texas Renaissance Festival somewhere, the skulls from Ravenswood leather, and then I think both of these bowls are from the thrift store. And then here's my beautiful mushrooms that I got from Texas Friend Fest, and they weren't tall enough to actually fit in my shot right there. So what I did was I put a couple boxes down. This bottom one is actually a uh, diaper box. And then there's another like picnic box above it that holds a bunch of coconut bowls. But then I basically just put the rest of the bed sheet that I used to make the Skyrim Mage's robes over it so that you couldn't see, you know, the modern day boxes. So yeah, that's how I got my mushrooms to be so tall. And then let me move my chair over. This whole like 
shelf situation came from the thrift store and that's my best little furry friend willow came from etsy um these antlers were actually my grandfather's because he was a hunter got this big old chest that's filled with random stuff uh, i got that from hobby lobby um skooma from etsy both of these journals are from the Renfest. some fur from who knows where probably hobby lobby my beautiful turtle shell pouch from Raina's Leather from Texas Rinfest. This wand that I made, it was originally Draco's wand and then I embellished it, trying to avoid blocking the light here, but two super cute mushrooms from Texas Rinfest. Uh, I got this drum from the thrift store. I just thought it looked really cute and primitive. So yeah, and then this chest I got from the thrift store as well, and it's really cute because it has like these leaves on it. And then this actually holds uh, the rest of my like, I don't know if you can see that, but it's bowls and little cups, little in period eating ware. And then I just put my pheasant that I got from Amazon, I think, on top. And then down here we got our LARP box. And it's got some LARP boxy things in there. Uh, my Bethesda's ESO Pacguar, who is the cutest little thing ever. This random little basket that I got from the thrift store. This lantern that I actually used to wear on my belt. Um, it used to have little lights in it. I don't wear it anymore though. Uh, this pistol from Ravenswood Leather. This plate thing from the thrift store. This mug from the store, that mug's from Texas Run Fest, and then this fur came from Ravenswood Leather. And then underneath, we have this random little, uh, what do you even call these things? It's a basket of some sort, a uh, primitive looking basket from the thrift store. Uh, I got these super cute leaf boots from Wish. Don't buy from Wish, but these are super cute. And there's uh, Mika's boots. Those are the boots I wear at Renfest, which I will be replacing at some point within the next year. And then my cute little uh, witch hat that I got from Etsy. And I made those cute little mushrooms. Look how cute they are. And then up here, we have this little dream catcher from the thrift store. I just thought it would match the whole kind of primitive look. And then, uh, this is actually from Spirit Halloween. It's a, I guess, crow skull or raven skull with some feathers that my Bosmer sometimes wears. And then you can't see the stuff in my videos, but, well, you might in some, but this is just some random gear stuff. And this is actually a really nice chest that I got from the thrift store for like 10 bucks. It's really pretty and it holds a whole bunch of stuff. And as a little bonus, um, here's my garb. Pretty sure I've already shown it to you. And then this is where Breed sits while I record. So I can remove some of this clutter if I need to, if I need to like review something that you need to see like all the details and everything. And the point is I can move all the stuff if I need to. Um, if I need to do like a big wide shot, I'll probably do it along this wall and I can move this stuff over pretty easily. But this stuff on the other hand would be really heavy to try to move. Uh, I wish it was on wheels, but it's not. But if I need to, you know, of course I can always move it around and stuff, so. <sighs> All right, guys, I have finally finished my space that makes me really happy i actually feel confident now to record in this space thank you so much for the two tippers who bought me a coffee or one person bought me several coffees um thank you so freaking much it helps speed up this whole process um but you can still buy me coffees because i still got stuff to buy <laughs> but hopefully this space is good enough for you guys to have like an immersive experience when you watch my videos. I will admit that I was really heavily inspired by Lart Mix's space. His space is like in a dungeon and it's in the corner and he has like two tables next to him with all his props and everything. So I was like, oh my god, his space looks so 
good. I want to do something like that. So shout out to LARP Mix and you should definitely go check out his channel because he's awesome. He's actually one of my favorite LARP YouTubers. But of course I had to make it a little bit more girly and cutesy for me. And I hope that this video helps inspire some of you LARP YouTubers. I'm just saying I think more LARP YouTubers should record in a space like this if they have the means to. Um, I love watching LARPers who actually dress up in their videos, who actually record in some sort of in period space. Even if it's like really simple, not as crazy as this, but when people put just a little bit of effort into their not just their videos, but their space and their costumes and everything for their videos, it, it makes a difference, trust me. And I'm also saying that because I want to watch that. So please, more people do that so I can watch more of you. It'll be a lot more entertaining and visually pleasing and things that look good get more viewers. That's just a fact. So that's why I've put so much effort into this and also just because I wanted a space where I can just escape, make my crafts, just kind of hang out in here and be like, oh, I miss LARP and miss Renfest, <laughs> but I'm going to pretend that I'm there in this space. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think of all of this. Feel free to give me suggestions if you think something doesn't look right. That's kind of what I've been doing for the past like month anyway on social media. But yeah, let me know what you think and I hope this video inspires at least one of you out there. And thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope to see you in the next video.